really nervous. La 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 la. Am I going to mess this up? La 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 la. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are, I, I, I almost went to destroying, but it's not destroying. Today we're gonna be DIYing my boyfriend's clothes into three new pieces that I can make new outfits out of that are a little more me. Essentially, Jeremy had a big bag of clothes that he was planning to donate, and so I decided to take a little peruse through the bag, uh, found some spiders, which was cool, uh, almost died, and then found a few fun pieces that I think that we can turn into some really fun new pieces. So we've got everything from like a Kentucky college shirt to do some fun stuff with, all the way to like a grown-up uh, Oxford. I'm like such not an adult that I don't even, is it an Oxford? A button-up shirt, is that an Oxford? I, uh. I don't know. We are the not, wrong people to be asking wrong for this. For <laughs> so anyways, today we're taking Jeremy's clothes and then making them into uh, Lord DIY clothes. Jeremy and I have very different styles, so um, we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, our first transformation is gonna be this Kentucky shirt. Jeremy went to Kentucky and I'm like a little nervous because as a Canadian where college is like not like a crazy, like it's like a crazy thing. Like university is obviously a big deal to like go to post-secondary education, but like, it's not on the same scale as like college craziness here and I'm really nervous that like is there some unspoken thing where like I'm not allowed to like cut a college shirt? Is that a thing? You can cut it up. You can cut it? I think so. You can cut it? I never went to college like Like, like crazy college, crazy right? College, like crazy yeah. college, yeah. So anyway, um I'm going cut it. <laughs> and then what I'm thinking is like a spiral bleach pattern. I haven't bleached anything in I feel like a really long time and I'm a little nervous it's gonna go that like gross orange color that is not super appealing. I'd love for it to go white, but we gonna see what happens and you know I'm gonna crop it. <laughs> I feel like this is my sorority girl t-shirt of my dreams because I was never a sorority girl. I always wonder how my life would have been different had I been a sorority girl. I think I would have made a really good sorority girl. Like all the DIYs that you get to do, I feel like in my head and in the movies, I feel like you get to DIY a lot of things. Let me know if I'm totally off on that. <laughs> Nervous, la 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 la. Am I going to mess this up? La 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 la. <laughs> Lauren. Okay, so I'm gonna do a mixture of I think like one part water two parts bleach and let it sit in here for maybe like 10 minutes Please don't turn orange. Please don't turn orange. Please don't turn orange Okay. To the bathroom. Oh my god, here we go mm, I don't know what I'm doing Okay, here we go Maybe two parts water, one part bleach? If this is like dark blue and light blue, that could be cute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that does feel a lot, I feel like. Okay. Ooh, she's stanky. Maybe 10 minutes does seem really long. That does seem long now that I think about it. You know what? Good DIYers do test runs. We're not that DIYer. We're better. <laughs> We're not gonna even test it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Who even needs background music when you have me? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I think I need more bleach. I think that's the only answer here. Maybe more water and bleach? I think more bleach. See, it's not doing anything. Maybe 10 minutes is right. Bleach is so strong that we can like sort of eat holes in fabric. I mean, it's been a hot minute since Jeremy's been in college, so I feel like this shirt has been through some some ish and it can survive a little bleach. Okay, do we just leave it? I think we just leave it. Let's leave it. Are you napping? What are you doing? <laughs> it hasn't changed 
at all. Maybe because this shirt has literally been through so much. I don't even want to know the college parties this shirt has survived on Jeremy's body. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had something not bleached before. Like, I've encountered so many different DIY things. This isn't one of them. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I think just add more bleach. <laughs> I can't believe it's not doing anything. How is that possible? Cotton never doesn't bleach. Are you slipping? What are you doing? Okay, well, I guess we just leave it in there for longer. Obviously, eight minutes is not enough. Okay, well, check back in. 20? Uh, hello. The shirt is now sitting in this pot of boiling water. So, I'm a big dummy, and I realized that this wasn't really cotton, this was a polyester blend. And so to dye polyester, you have to heat it so that the fibers open up to receive whatever you're trying to do to it. So, do not boil bleach. One more time. Do not boil bleach. That can make a bomb. Literally, I'm pretty sure. Like, was used in World War I. So anyway, I rinsed the bleach out, and now I'm boiling it. But I almost feel like this might be the move, because obviously I wasn't able to rinse all of the bleach out. And so now that it's in the boiling water, it actually might be turning color. One more time. Do not boil bleach. I kind of feel like it's doing something. Oh, girl! This is definitely lighter. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Ah! Here's the magic formula. Boil your shirt and then stick it in bleach. Do not boil bleach for the fourth time. Do not boil bleach. That is not how I want to lose a pretty little lore. No, it's a no. It's a no-go. It's a no-save. Hazard, hazard, hazard. Boil your shirt. Stick it in bleach and then add your boiling water to the bucket. And don't use any of the same kitchen tools for food and bleach. Like these will go into my craft supplies cupboard afterwards. I'm so happy! Wow, we learned a lot today. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this and then throw it in the washer and dryer. And I'm so excited! This was a process. I thought we were only gonna have two projects in this video, but we coming through with the third one. <laughs> <gasps> I just saw a peek at the inside. Yo, this is gonna be good. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Okay, this went from potentially the worst DIY to the best one. <laughs> oh my Lanta bruh. Wow, y'all. This was a process. Okay, so this is an extra large All Saints shirt and honestly, it's like so flowy and nice. I'm so tempted to just like keep it as a sleep shirt because she comfy. We have a little bit more distressing than I would like here, which is why I'm sure it was in the, uh, the done with bag. But I'm thinking that this could be a really cute t-shirt dress with like a ruching down the side. I have so many dresses right now that have like a ruching here to here, but I feel like that works best with an off the shoulder sweater. So I'm thinking like a little side ruch, not on like the actual side, but like the front side. And this is one of the easiest DIYs. It's a hand sew situation and it takes like literally five minutes. So let's try that. And honestly, if you don't like it, you can just cut the thread out and take it out and you'd never even know that you did it. Getting a little nervous. It's an All Saints shirt, but uh, dog hell's do it. Systems processing. <laughs> you never have to guess what I'm thinking, truly. <laughs>
hate sewing. I hate it. This shirt needs to be steamed so bad, like more than any shirt has ever needed to be steamed in my entire life. But I think it got me cute with like some knee high booties. It added way more shape to it and definitely like made this shirt feel so much girlier. This distress situation I'm realizing now looks like two eyeballs and a big screaming mouth, except for that it's like near my butt. So cool. I know I'm gonna get roasted either way I say it because I don't know which one is right. A Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren? <laughs> I feel like I've heard both and I don't know which one is right. This is a really nice shirt. Like so nice that I'm like, Jeremy, why are you getting rid of this? This is really nice. Like I love like this like chambray color. It's super nice. Anyways, I'm going to burp. And now we're gonna make a skirt out of this shirt. I'm disgusting. <laughs> Back to DIYing, I'm a wreck, I'm an actual wreck. Okay, so we're gonna make a skirt out of this shirt and I've got a skirt that fits pretty well to measure up kind of. Also, we busted out the sewing machine for this one and I'm real nervous about it. You guys know how I feel about sewing, but essentially it's gonna have like a button up front and then it's gonna be kind of like a section from right here. In my head, this is gonna be really cute. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Everyone got so mad at me last time when I sewed over pins. I just thought that that it could it could do it. I've only broken one needle ever, but uh, here I am taking all the pins out because I'm scarred because of the trauma of the bullying I received. <laughs> I mean, like I feel unless you got a real close stitch going on, you good, you Gucci. But anyway, I got bullied too hard, so now we don't do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's sew a skirt. She's taking it out. <laughs> I don't want to get bullied anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm really out here today. Okay, so I suck at sewing. I I just like don't know when I'm gonna realize that I don't suck at sewing because it, it's it's maybe it'll never come. I don't know. Anyways, we have skirt. I don't know what this is. <laughs> so sad about it. It's okay. I mean, like, is it gonna look okay? Probably. I mean, it's you know what? It's not as bad as my graffiti last week. <laughs> you haven't seen last week's uh, DIY master. That's linked down below. But no, you know what? Not bad. I think we've come a long way from being a button-up shirt. I don't want to be too hard on myself because it's not that bad. It looks like a regular skirt for the most part, aside from this. Okay, let's try it on. thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see a part two of this or want me to dive into someone else's closet to see if I can DIY myself into some new outfits. If you haven't seen last Wednesday's weekly vlog, I'm not officially doing vlogmas, but it's like a weekly vlogmas situation. So the holiday vibes are strong in this past Wednesday's vlog. I was up in Big Bear with the vlogmas squad and it was so much fun. So make sure to go check that out. If you're looking for some holiday shopping, shop.lauradiy.com. All my socials will be in the down bar below if you want to follow me there. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for another weekly vlog inside of another sun D I Wow! Okay, bye guys, love you! The DIY queen, that's the royal elite. My pretty little
Kingdom, now you're running the streets.